Yes, sir, we promised you a great book. Six, and I'm coming at you guys with tonight's SmackDown Live results. And tonight's SmackDown started off with Randy Orton coming out to the ring, talking about how he took out the Enigma, Jeff Hardy, and he is coming for any other superstar that is respected by the WWE Universe, and, uh... He's tired of it. He's tired of not being respected by uh, you guys. And I don't know. I, I like Randy Orton. Uh, I think it's just a different angle, uh, whatnot. But uh, then we end up kick, uh, kicking into a little backstage segment with Becky Lynch and Charlotte uh, talking about the fact that she wanted to have Carmella on her own for SummerSlam, and she's not really exactly happy that Charlotte is now approached into this match, making it a triple threat for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship ma uh, match during SummerSlam. For the first match of the night, we end up having a women's division match, a tag team matchup, the Iconics versus Charlotte and Becky Lynch. And uh, Charlotte Flair picked up the win for her and Becky Lynch with a figure eight, a uh, big submission and a tap out, picks up the win, moving on for getting ready for uh, SummerSlam. Next, we end up going to a New Day promo for tonight against The Bar. And uh, tonight's match will determine who's going to be facing the Bludgeon Brothers for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam. We end up following up after that with a promo for The Miz and Mrs. tonight. And uh, just announced... We're going to have The Miz versus Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. I can't wait for that. It's a match I've been looking forward to for a while. AJ Styles comes out talking about his match at SummerSlam with Samoa Joe, and he promises that Samoa Joe won't just not be walking out. The WWE champion, he won't be walking out of SummerSlam. Backstage bit with uh, Lana. Rusev walks up and apologizes and says Lana's right. He should have been on her side. That's why tonight he's going to be out there with her in her match against Zelina Vega. And uh, in English ends up walking up and apologizes to the both of them for costing them their matches. And they accept his apology but tell him he should just stay backstage for uh, tonight. For the next match, we end up having a Zelina Vega versus Lana. Now, uh, Zelina Vega put the boots to Lana early on, but uh, Lana tried to pull it off in the end. But Rusev ended up uh, trying to pick out uh, Cien Almas out the uh, side and in English come out there, pushing Cien Almas into Lana, knocking her down and giving Zelina Vega to pick up the uh, chance to pick up the win and move on. I, I really don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of uh, the Zelina Vega thing uh, as a wrestler, more of a fan of her as a manager, but let's see what's going to happen later on. Our truth says that he wants Shinsuke Nakamura tonight, so uh, we're going to see what happens with that later on. During an interview with The Miz, uh, being conducted from the center of the ring by Byron Saxton, The Miz, uh, supposedly on location for The Miz and Mrs. Uh, they were asking questions about why he wasn't there. Uh, is he ready for Daniel Bryan? And he told he told them that uh, he don't need the match with Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan needs the match with him to stay relevant. And uh, so they said that Daniel Bryan come out from behind and attacked him. Security having to pull Daniel Bryan off. Daniel Bryan going uh, at security. And uh, they took him out with something uh, before they end up getting out of there and boogieing. 
But um, we're going to be moving on to the Nakamura and our truth match, and I don't really know about that. We end up having the Shinsuke Nakamura and our truth match next, and Shinsuke Nakamura picked up the win over our truth with a Kinshasa, uh, knocking our truth out in the middle of the ring, getting that one, two, three. We then go to a promo of the Bludgeon Brothers uh, talking about tonight's tag team uh, champion. Well, not championship, but the tag team tournament. The finals, who's moving on, saying that they're going to be waiting for whoever, and uh, then we're going to uh, their match. They're going to be live tonight, uh, the Bludgeon Brothers, next. Harper and Rowan end up picking up the win over some local jobbers. I don't know. It, it's just their thing. Big guys, got to push the talent, make them scarier looking, especially going into a pay-per-view like SummerSlam. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Either which way, whoever ends up winning tonight's uh, Tag Team Championship Finals, I can't wait to see who's going to be in the actual cha uh, championship match. It's going to be a hellacious. A lot of promotion going for SummerSlam. We are coming close to SummerSlam. It is literally just... A week and a half away. Uh, this Sunday will be a, a week away from SummerSlam. So we're, the, after today, we've only got two more events, live events on TV before SummerSlam. So this next week will be closing it out for these matches, but the card looks stacked. I can't wait. I am anticipating. If you guys haven't already, be sure to go on over to WWE.com and get your guys' WWE Network $9.99. I, I can't fucking wait. So, uh, like I said, be sure to check that out. For the final match of the night, it was New Day versus The Bar. For this tag team's tournament for the championship match against... The Bludgeon Brothers at SummerSlam. New Day picks up the win over the bar in a well-fought match. Both teams did a hell of a job, bang-up job. Really good match all the way through. Had me at the edge of my seat, or whatever seat I'm sitting on. But it was a very good, a very good match. Be sure to go on over to, like I said, the WWE Network and get the network. $9.99. Uh, don't want to miss... SummerSlam, and that is a week from this Sunday. We only have one more Monday Night Raw and one more Tuesday Night SmackDown before SummerSlam. So be sure to check back here for your Monday Night Raw results and your Tuesday Night SmackDown results, and I will have those for you. I'll also be covering the SummerSlam event and uh, probably the pre-show, a little bit of that as well. Uh, we're going to be getting into uh, some of these uh, stuff releasing for the uh, video game, too. I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what's going to be released for the new WWE 2K19 video game. Um, anticipating to see the lineup of superstars they have on this game. Go on over to Baby Daily and hit the subscribe button on her and go on over to Happy Accidents and make sure you subscribe to that. We've got something big planned this weekend for Happy Accidents, so be sure to check that out. Go on over to Scotty Pockets Gaming and make sure you guys subscribe to him. Uh, go on uh, over to my Twitter and my Facebook and make sure you guys follow me over there. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe here. Uh, like, share, and favorite. Love, peace, chicken grease. Bye.